Hello everyone and welcome back to Digimon World Dawn Going Digital. Let's go finish up that real quick side quest. And we might attempt. I, I want to say attempt because to be honest, I don't know how well we are equipped for it. But we may attempt the Silver Tamer test. But the side quest we had was to go back to the Macro Sea and find a specific Digimon. Now, which Digimon was that? Nope. Uh, quest. Here we go. We need to find Marine Devimon. So, I believe... I don't know where exactly he's at, but I am just going to follow a path. Oh, hey, there he is. What's up, Marine Devimon? World Gromon's Assault Balance. Divermon's Digi Circuit. Okay, so we have to find Divermon now. We know what Divermon looks like. Now, I recently came back. Yes, I came back while I had this quest active. So I kind of half knew where he... Okay, I thought he moved. I kind of half knew where he was. And half didn't because I kind of forgot. But I came back to see if I could find all the items. Turns out, last time I must have got all the items already. Because <laughs> there was no more items. At least for the areas I can get to. In the macro. Okay. Seriously, guys. At least for where I can get to in the macro C. The macro C doesn't allow certain areas to be gone into. So, I want to say that if I am missing any items, they're in those areas. Similar to how there was new areas in the Task Canyon that I was unaware of. Well, I was aware of them when I left Task Canyon from that quest. But I didn't go back to them until after. So I want to say it's similar to that. I also did level up uh, Sun, the extra Coronamon, up to Fireamon. I am still trying to get him up to 99, and yes, he already has an aptitude of 45. All right, let's look around. Right, let's look around over here. Is there a Divermon over here? I don't see any Divermon, so this is a useless end. Hi, Abidramon. I'm going to go ahead and state that I'm probably going to have to beat up most of the Digimon down here. Because a lot of them... When I came to look for items, there was quite a few times... Even with uh, speed up, because I usually use the retro arc speed up function to speed up the game a little to make looking around a bit easier in between. It's the same thing I do for training. I kind of speed the game up. A lot of these guys weren't letting me flee, so I think it's due to the fact that I'm still level 38 roughly. Alright, so... Alright, is Marine Devimon still over there? Yeah, okay. So Divermon has to either be up there, up north, or he has to be down here somewhere. So I'm thinking he's in the next area over here. That's a Divermon. So that is what we are looking for, but not this specific Divermon. We have to find an actual Divermon. I am still doing pretty good at beating up thing, beating up Digimon. Or as I said in uh, last week's uh, Digimobs, D, what did I call it? Uh, D digitizing Digimon. <laughs> oh, hey, Metal Seedramon. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting to see that here, but okay. Uh, we'll. Go with de-digitizing Divermon. I 
and then we'll go for Metal Siege on. Uh, inner. I've been wanting to use Energy Shot, but it is a three. It is a three spot, uh, so I don't want to really use it. To... But yeah, I'm. I still believe that this game doesn't. Well, this game does get love from many people. I do believe this game could have more love and they could do a redo and actually put uh, remake it similar to Cyber Sleuth do a complete edition where you get both Digimon World Dawn and Dusk on the same cartridge okay let's look around here is there Divermon potentially in the Metal Seedramon spot no okay So, you basically, what I was thinking is, you remake it kinda like Cyber Sleuth, make a complete edition where it gives both Digimon World Dawn and Dusk, you make it to where, similarly to that one, uh, the Digipedia could, if you complete one game and go into the other one, the Digipedia transports over. And same with the Egg Encyclopedia, since there is an Egg Encyclopedia in this game. Of course, Tamer level doesn't, and a lot of the other stuff that money wouldn't. You could even give a special... I don't think there's any special Digimon that weren't already here. The code Digimon. You could give those away, um, specially. Okay, wait. So I just saw Divermon, so how do I get to that area? Uh, I think that's meant to be... Is that meant to be behind Marine Devimon? Coelimon was always one of those that, yeah, it kind of got on my nerves. Okay. Flipping around here. Yeah, it's behind Marine Devimon. Please tell me there's another way in there. There isn't. Please tell me there's a way around Marine Devimon then. Because if not, then... How am I meant to get something that's behind him? That wouldn't make any sense. At that point, I would call this a bugged quest, because Marine Devimon's not moving to where I can get... I have to be able to, like, slide past him. That's the only thing I can think of. But, yeah, that's... I know there would be a lot of 3D modeling that would need to be done, like... Of course, they'd have to make a 3D model for Ko. To be honest, the... Dark Moon protagonist, the female, hers is already modeled. So, hers is already modeled thanks to Cyber Sleuth having a quest for her. Same with the Diana Online being already in the game. So, her. I think actually all of her team. I'd have to. I'd have to check what game Digimon are in this game. Like, check the whole Digipedia. But there would be very few that wouldn't... Okay, I could just slide past him. <sighs> there would be very few that I seriously think would need... There's very few that I could think of off the top of my head that would need 3D model. I know Spinomon, maybe Waru Seedramon. I don't remember if Waru Seedramon's been in any game recently with 3D modeling. Past that, uh, the Grimmon line, of course, because, yeah, Ko, the Apollomon line. For Dot Agumon, Dot Shine Greymon, and Dot Falcomon, you can literally just leave them as pixel arts. Because they've shown that there is a 
status you can get called dot that turns them back into the pixel sprites. So just put them as pixel sprites. Oh, thank you, Divermon. You are... Yo, that's awesome. Divermon being a bro. Nibidramon. Oh, right. I was about to say I could just, uh... Starlight, but... That doesn't work like I was thinking. It's only a center. As for the spaces, like I said, um, usually you couldn't get more than, you could get up to five Digimon if you were helping, or if you had Nokia helping you, because she has two partner Digimon, so you could theoretically do the five zones because they have the five zones you could also just change all of their moves to be similar to existing cyber sleuth uh, of course yeah I figured marine demimon would want to fight so Sure, a lot of Digimon would have to... You could also make a lot of the Digimon, like, since their lines are expanded in later games, they would have their expanded lines. Like, Anjumon's line having other Megas, but you could still put Slash Anjumon in there, because I think... I'm not sure if Slash Anjumon is... in? Cyber Sleuth? I don't remember. If he is, I know you guys will tell me in the comments. Or, I would hope you do. But, yeah, he, Slash Anjumon could be put in there. Clavis Anjumon could be put in. There's all kinds of stuff you could put in. And you could make it to where the Coronamon line... We will as soon as we get back, Marine Devimon. Thank you for the Assault Balancer. All of these items could still be there. The Gate Disc... The Gate Disc is similar to one of the hacks. So you could also have that as being like a hack. Or just leave it as an item like it was. The Digi Islands could still be Digi Islands. Uh, the only big thing I would say is you've got to find them in the world in the other game. Having a dedicated shop would actually be kind of cool. That would be something I would say Cyber Sleuth should have had as a dedicated shop. But that Brachiomon, I'm pretty sure Brachiomon's not in there. That would be a great one to see. Uh, Frigimon, Parrotmon, Bokomon, yeah, Bokomon, uh, Kakatorimon, and Akatorimon, Sorcerymon, that was a dragon. I would love to see this in 3D, this area would be dope to look at. Alright, EXP ring beta. <coughs> So I did say that we were going to try the Silver Tamer quest. So let's go do that. Of course, there's a bunch of the Nightmon. Like, I'm I'm kind of gushing over what Digimon would get... What Digimon could get 3D modeled. Also, the home island. This, I think, would look great in 3D modeling. It, it's just kind of my own personal opinion. There are all kinds of Digimon that I would love to see their their moves 3D modeled. Plus, you could finally actually model Grace Novamon. 
because Grace Novamon has is um, for many that don't know, Grace Novamon. I've mentioned it, I think, a few times. It is the combination of Apollomon and Dianamon. And see, that's another Digimon, that little monkey guy. And I think that monkey too. Those both would be need to be 3D modeled. But Nova Grace Novamon is the fusion between Apollomon and Dianamon. It's the Jogress. And right now, I think the only thing that it's in, they do have the art for it, but I think the only thing it's in is the uh, 20th anniversary Digivices. So I would love 2,000 bits. Do I have 2,000 bits? Apparently I had. To, oh, wow, I have 24,000. <laughs> Susano Mon's already. Sun Reza Mon right there. Snow Goblin Mon. All right, let's go up here and see if we can uh, defeat that. Oh, uh, wait. Okay. Uh, of course, Lopmon would be able to get in on its uh, later of its uniqueness evolutions. I would love to still see Antilamon have two different forms. One that's good and one that's bad, because they do mention them. That they are two separate. Alright, so now we're taking the Silver Tamer test. This is actually one that's pretty difficult, if I remember correctly. Because it has Parasimon, Millenniummon, and Vademon. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna go for Parasimon first. Because he is the first on the thing. Flaming Fist to the Beast King. Alright, so we did get Parasite Mon out of the way. We can start working on Vade Mon. I forget if he has another name. Um, I feel like he does. Stun Whipping. Okay, both of them got paralyzed. But he got through his paralysis. So we're going to beat up on... I think this is considered... Moon Millennium Mon? Freeze Bolt. Ooh. So that is one thing I do notice. All of my Digimon are actually not taking that much damage. I tried this on a separate, like, alternate save, and I could not do this. I was actually getting my butt handed to me. So having three ultimates that are all around level 40 helps immensely in this battle. Ooh. Alright. Flaming Fist of the Beast King! Yes! We're gonna be a Silver Tamer! Woohoo! Oh, 3,000 experience, 1,000 Dark, and 2,000 Machine? I wish I had some of my other Digimon with me. That Machine and Dark XP would have been great for them. 40, 40, 40, 34, 23, 22. Alright. So Rise Greymon learned a new skill. Rising Ray. Effect 81, MP94. It hits two times. Okay. Uh, 81. Okay, so Boost Tackle is the lowest effect one we have right now. And it is a singular zone. It's similar to Sharp Fang. It also, it's also, I think, my lowest MP move. This one does get MP higher than every other move, though. I'm thinking I take out Boost Tackle for this. I'll have to reorganize his moveset. Uh, what move did you get? Sharp Claw. Okay, Grand Cross, Small Breath, Holy Bolt, Gatling Punch. Uh, I'm thinking I get rid of Small... Well, uh... I really like Gatling Punch. I, I'm not going to lie. I really still like Gatling Punch. But it does eventually get really old. We won. Thank you. We did it. We're now a Silver Tamer. 
Uh, it'll probably be after I get Megas. So I, th well, I do think we actually can get some rewards real quick from, I want to say Boncho Leo. Yeah, Boncho Leo Mon right here. And maybe Dark Dramon. 10,000 bits. First off, that's an 8,000 increase from where we were. Okay, I don't know when Dark Dramon gives us more stuff. He said whenever we get more Tamer points. We're at 1,950. But we are a Silver Tamer now, so that's good. And I did mention the Digi Egg Gallery, so this is kind of what it is. There are specific Digi Eggs. I think there's one that's like a specific... Uh, I think one of them is like a specific Dianamon and Apollo Mon can make it. The Digimon Gallery. I am going to eventually have to look through this. Like, see if I can maybe go on an alternate thing. Not on this save, not on this save, but go, go, make a, um, a secondary save by changing, copying the ROM and using the ROM, changing the ROM uh, title to be able to go into it. So that would allow me to be able to make a second save. I've already done it once. I might use that save and try to see if I can find the cheat for the, the whole Digipedia. And then I can look through it and find out what Digimon besides Waru, Seedramon, and Spinomon. Because those two are boss Digimon. I'm, I, I can't... Those don't go in the Digipedia. But all the rest of the Digimon try to look and see what ones would need 3D modeled. Go to th Thriller Ruins. Huh? Isn't that one of the early stage areas? Also, this is from Litten, not from Chief Glare. Which is weird. We are going to go ahead and go see what's going on. Why are we getting a, uh, a quest from Litten and not Chief Glare? Because I don't remember this part of the story. Alright. What... What's going on, guys? Oh, hey, uh... Gideon. Put some extra effort. Okay. Extra effort. You be careful. Yep, I'll be careful. Alright. Let's go see what's going on. Why is Anubis mo Excuse me? Hey, um... Where's Chief Glare and Ophanimon? Thriller Ruins Investigation. Um, yeah, Chief Glare of Fawny Mon lately. Um, excuse me. Okay. Spawn. Also, the fact that the leader of a Tamer Union with one of the strongest Digimon around a mega level is missing. You know, you know, that's 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 good. That's good. I am gonna go look at some. <laughs> I am gonna go look at some of the Digimon around. Uh, let's go to the Digilab first. I rarely go to it anymore. Let's look at the Digiconverts. Chibomon, Gigimon, Sunmon. <laughs> Get another Sunmon. Yeah, that's how many times I fought. You can tell by the amount of uh, DNA how many times I fought Chibomon, Gigimon, and Sunmon. Because I went through Task Canyon so much. And Kokuomon for going... I forget where I fought Kokuomon at. Candlemon, Tapermon... I want to get that Tapermon quest, I really do. Geomon, Drachmon, Ponchessmon B, Monodramon, Wendigomon. Uh, I don't think there's any Digimon I really need. Per se, or want to... 
I think him. I want to say Kamemon. Kamemon, there might be a uh, one that would need 3D modeling. I, I seriously do think a Beatramon does. Because I really don't remember him having a 3D model. The Vegemon, I know. Red Vegemon, Weedmon, I know they do because of uh, Next Order. So, I don't remember Tyranomon or Kokotorimon or Akatorimon if they all have them. I know Sunflowmon does. I don't remember Filemon or Yanmamon or San Yanmon. Goburimon, also known as Goblimon, uh, Floramon. Certain ones are just palette swaps. So certain ones that just are palette swaps, you could probably easily just do that. Like San Yanmamon, if Yanmamon's got it, and San Yanmamon doesn't, it's just a palette swap. There's not a big issue there. But it's stuff like Caesarmon. If he doesn't, that's a whole nother thing. And Divermon, who I'm pretty sure doesn't. Uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'll go ahead and say that. Daramon? I don't remember if Daramon does. <laughs> I'm already in the zero percentages, though. Um, no, let's look at special Digivolutions. So, I do still have some Vmon down here. I do have this Vmon, and he does have the potential... I don't want to do that for one big reason if it accidentally de armor digivolves him and I can't get him back then I lost all that time on that that Vmon I do have a Chibomon so I might go for Chibomon uh, I don't know why I'm keeping uh, Gargamon or Coco and Gummy around the same. I just been doing that to kind of keep my sanity with them. I keep them around the same aptitude, roughly. Monodramon. Yeah, see, Monodramon would have Monodramon would have benefited from that so much. That 2,000 machine that would have been so good for him. Because I think... Wait, what does it say he needs for Machine Vermont? I know he needs, like, a lot for Justimon. See? He would have had enough. <sighs> uh, I, I mean, I'm going back down the Leomon. Leomon. Leomon could have used it. Uh, I think Pagu could have used the Dark. Nah, Pagu. Pagu don't need the Dark. Granted, I'm not... Well, no, even Mummymon. Um, Tanemon... Or Togemon didn't need that, because Togemon's insect. It was... Dark... And Beast. Oh, I think Garurumon and Gabumon can both... Or Gabumon and Agumon can both di digivolve. I've been having them sit on the island for a bit and just kind of slowly level so that their aptitudes could stay around the same. I should put them in the team sometime. I love that it's 90% and got Agumon. He needs Dragon 3000 and level 34. The problem is, I'm not sure if Gabumon has enough machine yet, or beast, to go into this yet. We're gonna check. Because it doesn't tell me until I digivolve him, which is weird. Once it knows, it keeps it the knowledge, but until it knows, it doesn't tell me, which kind of is annoying. Because then I have to check DNA. Yeah, see, he doesn't have it. Friendship 90 percent got Gabumon though but we can check everything else that's down his line Ogremon goes into where Gururumon black and then into Gulfmon instead of Metal Gururumon black Minotaurmon goes into Edamon then Metal Edamon and then Nanimon is just 
wasted effort. Yes, I said it. It's wasted effort. Uh, Potamon still trying. I'm still trying to get Pata up to like his stuff. Uh, v is still trying to get up to 36 now to just mainly get Aero Vitramon, and then I'm going to probably pull him from the island because honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I don't want a Goldramon. I wanted him to be... I wanted him to be... Yeah, I wanted him to go into... The Royal Knight that he's supposed to be in. I don't know why it doesn't. So... It is kind of a thing. I, I don't know why it doesn't. Kapuri, Kapuri. Oh, Kapuri could have gotten a lot of machine that helps it, because he goes into High Andromon. That's also another thing. Uh, I don't know how come, but I can see all of his Megas now. Did this help you? Oh, it helped you a lot. It helped you towards that one, too, but it mainly helps you towards War Growlmon. I like it. I am fine with that. And Sun is... Sun really didn't get anything from that. He can go up to Flaremon. But, I mean, I've got Corona and I'm going to have Sun. That's going to be two... <laughs> That'll be two of them. That'll be... That'll just be wild. But, thank you everyone so much for watching. We're now a silver tamer. So yay. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.